This is Building Returns with Source My Property. My name is John Stoko, and I am the owner of Source My Property, along with my business partner, Roger Burrows. Uh, this is our very first webcast radio show, and I'm really, really excited to have Roger on with us. There's no other person in the world that I want to kick this whole uh, series off than Roger, and really, really excited to be bringing you what is happening in the world of local and international property. The whole idea behind the show is to understand everything about everything about property internationally. I'm going to be interviewing everybody from developers to investors to solicitors, uh, everything and every aspect to do with property around the world to give you, the viewers, the full information, the full brochure on what's going on so that you know where and how to invest your money so that you can make phenomenal returns out of bricks and mortar. Without further ado, I'll, I'll bring on Roger. Uh, Roger Burrows, as I say, is my, my business partner. I cannot do, well, we cannot do what, 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 what we do without Roger. Uh, Roger, say, please say hello to our international guests. Hi, how are you doing? And uh, yeah, it's great to kickstart this with uh, you this morning, John. Thanks very much. No problem. Roger, just, just kick off, before we get onto the property side of stuff, can we just give you a bit of background? I'll tell you what, what I very briefly, what I know about yourself, but if you can carry on. Uh, Roger is, both of us are actually South African. We both work in the UK property market down in South Wales. Roger's history is uh, he's ex-British Army, a captain in the British Army, and an essential piece when it comes to the operational style of things. Doesn't mess around and gets stuff done. So Roger, if you can give us a bit of your, your history, please. Yeah, so I don't, uh, I don't have a, a as as strong a South African accent as, as maybe John anymore because I've been in the UK. I left South Africa when I was just just 18 years old. Uh, I've been in the UK uh, coming up for 17 years now. Um, I I went into the world of, of graphics and art to start with at first, but um, something attracted me to join the British Army, and I, I did eight years as a as an army, and I finished as a captain in the Royal Signal. So my expertise was in um, in project management and communications. Uh, it led um, it led really well to pick us up for here in Source My Property, and when we got started uh, after we kicked things off, I kind of naturally progressed into this position of, of operations. So my role in the company became pretty much uh, very quickly to be able to run everything on the day to day, everything on the ground, to work with all the builders, to work with all the um, the agents, to to really bring the projects from from old and dilapidated to up and brand new and running. And uh, it's that's really excited me. It's really used my skills uh, c correct, and it's just made uh, John and, and myself our relationship really really form well. And so it's it's been it's been awesome having the experience from the British military, which has kind of made me who I am. Really, it, it really has, and, and the ethos of the British Army runs through me through and through. And bringing that across to the property world uh, has just been magnificent. Rod, can you give me an, uh, an idea, or give our viewers and listeners an idea in your own words what? Source my property, what the business actually does and what it means. Yeah. Uh, so uh, very, very specially, we set out to be something unique in the world that, that we're doing in terms of sourcing properties. We, we really are blazing a trail of property sourcing uh, in South Wales and, and soon to be across the whole of the UK. And what we, what we ultimately do is we find properties uh, on behalf of investors, but not just any properties. We find properties that really can actually properly funnel and turn around the investors' money to be used again onto their next opportunity. Gone are the days where you have to take a whole bunch of money and sink it into a property and wait for it for 20 years before it pays you anything. We're actually specialized in finding properties in really desirable areas that really need value added to them, which we do, that then our investors can actually recycle their money onto a new mortgage product and use their same pot of money again to go and do that again. So we're helping people build building returns and just as just as a kind of slogan it says is really we want to consistently build those returns um i specialize in finding those properties with my team we, we look at hundreds of properties a month and we put in hundreds of offers of properties a month with the team uh, to really we, we do those directly with vendors we do them directly through agents and ultimately our goal is to find properties um, no matter the price that doesn't really matter is where we can add value uh, and that is really our key in source my property is sourcing those those great kind of opportunities. Absolutely, I think adding value is the key piece here. Instead of just going out and buying what one may consider a retail property and hoping that you might get an income from it, tell us what you guys do to find those properties that are in, call it investor grade properties that are going to 
create for your investors and your clients awesome returns. If you can explain that, and then also what other pieces of the pie that uh, the business holds, so right through the chain from finding the property right through to actually, say, a check in the hand of your investor. What, what, what pieces or what steps do you have in the business that can help your investor have that? So to start off the first question of how, how we find these properties is we've got a, um, a good team across South Wales at the moment. There's, there's seven agents out there now actively sourcing opportunities. And they're doing that through uh, agents. They're doing it through dropping leaflets. They're doing it through a network of, of property meetings to find these properties. A lot of our investment deals still come through property agents, people who are selling properties on behalf of owners, uh, because they are now coming to us because of the model that we've built, uh, that we're successfully uh, moving on properties. And so a lot is coming through agents. We've got a team out there who are constantly in the doors of the agents, finding these properties that are kind of hard to sell or what we need really. Another uh, thing we have going, which is consistently turning in the background is our marketing campaign. So we've got a system which continually turns out letters directly to property owners every single month. Uh, and it does that whether their property is on the market, has been in the market, a sale has fallen through. Uh, and we, we do that to, to let people know that we're not some quick buy, cash buy now company. We are something different. We are personable people. We will help them sell their property. And we do things differently in that, in that respect as well is, is maybe that person doesn't just need a quick cash sale. We can do amazing things like lease options. We can do amazing things like assisted sales where we can help people get out of really tough situations and actually get them what they deserve for their property as opposed to something cheeky. And, and when we can do that as well with our direct letter campaigns, um, it works really nicely in bringing in a different dynamic of, of property owners. And those are kind of the two methods that, that we use. We also uh, deal directly with uh, various solicitors who might have had sales fall through that we might get wind of or we can help out. Uh, and then every so often we'll look at we'll look at auctions if we target a specific area for a specific property. Um, auctions is not something we've delved into massively yet because it takes a whole lot of different kind of strategies to look at, but it's something we're particularly interested in uh, then we'll go and have a look at it. Um, and then kind of like what, what we run then to answer the second part of your question is what piece of the of the whole process is run by Source My Property? Uh, well, that completely depends on you. Uh, and the, the shortest answer is we can do everything. You could be sitting on a beach in Australia and we could get you checks coming into your bank account every single month from property investing. Um, and, and we've got the whole process. So we source the properties, we secure the properties with our solicitors, we can purchase the properties, we can build the properties, we can have the whole renovations team through, and we can take it all the way through to the refinancing with your new product and then find new tenants. Um, and that, and we, it's just kind of evolved as we've gone along in, in this short space of time because we started just finding the properties and then people were saying, well, I need this to get fixed up. So I said, okay, we've got something there. And we built we built a build team, um, beautifully all ex military builders as well, which is incredible. Uh, and then after we had finished the properties, we were giving them back to the clients. And they were saying, "Well, now I need to get this let." And then we would be let down by a couple of agents that we recommended. And I would say, oh, "I've got to change this as well. I've got to have control of that lettings process to know that my clients' properties have been delivered through success all the way down to that level." So then we started a lettings agency with a partner a couple of months ago, and now that full processes in place and, and we're just perfecting it daily. Brilliant. You, you mentioned um, uh, a lease option. Can you just explain what a lease option is and, and potentially an example of one where you've helped somebody out of a sticky situation? So you created a win-win for everybody at the end of the day and then helped out a, let's call them the armchair investor, who's now getting great returns. Can you explain what the lease option is and an example, please? So lease options, uh, they are, in short, an ability to take control of a property without actually owning it. Uh, what happens is you get a restriction placed against the title deeds of that property registered with land registry, but it can't be sold to anyone else. Uh, and then you can take control of the property, you can refurbish it and rent it out for the duration of the option agreement that you have. Um, now, how does, how does that work or why would someone want to do that? Well, because 
because properties uh, very often and sometimes properties, uh, their value might be less than what they have left to pay on their mortgage. They, they might be negative equity on a property and they, and they really need to sell for certain circumstances or they really need to move away from home or they just can't sell the property for what, what they need to do to clear their mortgage. Uh, we, we can come in in those situations and offer them options where we will pay them a payment equivalent to their, to their mortgage payments um, and then actually take the property off their hands, take all the bills associated with the property away from it, do all the necessary refurbishments to bring that property up to a new value and to put tenants into that property. Uh, and what, what we do for people who are struggling to, to sell their properties is, is very often just give them the ability to actually move on where they're not going to lose money, uh, where they don't be forced into a situation where they have to sell and be short of a tax liability or even worse, actually sell and have negative equity and have to pay the bank back more money. Um, an example uh, one I can give, um, actually a, it's a really good example of one that we're just going through at the moment. Um, and I'm actually gonna go and pick up the keys this afternoon, which is actually quite exciting. Uh, but this property, because it's fresh in my mind, um, I came across a gentleman who was struggling to sell his property because um, it was in a, an area where the value had gone down, uh, but not all but not all that much. Um, if he sold the property, he would just clear his mortgage. So he would be away safely. But he was quite a switched on um, bloke. When, when I spoke to him to say that I can actually pay him more for his property, than he wants for it now, but it's not going to be until 10 years time. I could see a little uh, trigger switch in his head and he said, well, how does that work? Tell me more. And I explained to him that we would offer him a certain figure for his property, uh, well above what he would get for it now, and that I would take the property off of his hands. I would refurbish the property and I'd rent it out for the duration of the agreement that we have. Um, you and refurbish, you refurbish, not the owner. Yeah, we're refurbishing it. Yeah, our, our money. Um, exactly. Yeah. Um, exactly. He's got no money. If, if, the, if the owner of that property is paying any money, something's gone wrong. Um, so, so he's what, actually what, getting an increase on the value of the property that somebody else is doing for him. Yeah, exactly. He's getting the value of his property increased. Uh, where, where this guy was quite clever is he quickly triggered that um, if he sells the money that we're going to be paying him monthly for that property uh, at a little bit extra than his mortgage is going to be more interest than he's going to get that if we paid him in full for his property with the money in the bank. So he actually said, I don't, I don't really desperately need that money for 10 years. I'm actually going to get more interest on the money that you're going to give me than I would if you actually paid me for the full property now. Uh, so he said, uh, he said, that's great. And it sounds like a win-win. Um, this property is, is beautiful. It's currently empty and it's going to go into a lovely family home in the, in the town of Swansea within the next couple of months. Um, so that's just an uh, example of something that we can do, really. And so how, uh, and that then follows on to how do we help out the, the clients or investors on the other side of that? Then? So what we do then um, is we give the investors the opportunity to actually have that lease option from us. So we have the right to assign this option to someone else. Now, we are in control of the process the whole way. So we look after the vendor. We, he knows that we are managing his property. But what we might be able to do and very, very often we do is we can pass on an investment like that to one of our clients. And it, it costs you probably less than five, six grand to get into an option. Uh, depending on the level of refurbishments the property may, may require. And uh, our model is going to make you healthy cash flow off that return for the entire duration of your option contract. And then at the end of that option contract, you still only have the option to purchase it. You don't actually have to purchase it. You can give it back. Uh, we do write uh, good things into the contracts that protect the vendor of that property. So when you do give the contract, the property back, if you don't want to buy it, that it's in the exact same uh, state of repair as you got it or better. Um, uh, so, yeah, um, we give people the opportunity to get into property uh, without actually needing a mortgage, without actually having to go to the bank and get lending. And um, what it works very, very well for our international clients because they need to build up track history of, of being a landlord in the United Kingdom. And this gives them the opportunity to do that, too, with with a fraction of the investment that you would normally make to purchase a property. That's fantastic. So effectively, our, as per the title of the show, building returns for investors yeah absolutely so and again just think of that whole process so right from the beginning we've got a win for the current homeowner who's in a sticky situation and can't move out of their house we've got a win for the investors themselves and obviously you as a business you sitting in the middle and you also having a win so it's win 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 all through uh, all through the process so everybody's happy and that's 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 the most important thing actually we we have witnessed people do lease options 
where vendors maybe haven't been legally represented correctly and they've been too one-sided and it's just not nice to see it. So we we are very, very sure that even the actual uh, owners of those properties are legally represented. We even offer to pay for that legal representation to make sure that they know exactly what it is um, that they are actually getting involved in. Um, so it's got to be win, 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 like you say, all the way through. That's brilliant. That leads me on to my, my next uh, set of questions, Roger. It sounds like obviously with your military background and who you are, that ethics is essential in your line of work and that making sure that everybody's above board and doing the right thing. Uh, so my, my question really comes down to uniqueness is the next phase. What makes you guys unique? What is your unique selling proposition, unique selling proposition? What, what sets you guys aside from everybody else? Why should it be, be coming to you guys instead of somebody else? I, I suppose it's got to be um, uh, the ability to get things done, and that comes from us being all mixed military. Uh, so the boys on the properties right now, we've got six or seven builds happening right now as we speak, um, where boys are in the properties doing the work, and they're all ex-military lads. Uh, we do have a couple of electricians and, uh, and plumbers contracted that aren't, but the majority of the team is all ex-military. And it, it allows me to do something very, very special with my guys because we don't treat it like a military ship when we're running it, but there's an ethos that has stayed with us that has run all the way through. And if you walked into any of my properties at the moment and talked to the boys and said, what are your core values or what makes you guys different? And they will say that they've got respect for others, that they're loyal, they're integrity, they're disciplined, and they've got courage. And those are the, those are the, the core values of the British Army, and they will still run through these boys through and through. And what it means is it also gives me a very unique perspective because I used to lead these soldiers in the military and I know what they need to be able to do the best work that they need. And they need something very special. They need to be given a task and then left alone. And that's magic when we can actually have the faith for them to do that just right, to do that properly. And it's called mission command. So what I mean by that is I'll go into a property on the first day. I will map out that property with my senior contractor. Um, who's who's ex-military uh, and also 20 years in the building trade. And we'll map out that entire property. And then I'll just leave them to it. I'll tell them what to do, but not how to get it done. And it's amazing the level of work and responsibility uh, that you can give the soldiers, uh, or give the builders, the level of work and quality that you get back is just brilliant. It's just extraordinary. You've got a build team. You can think for themselves. Uh, and that's why I think we're special is the ability to get things done with military precision. That's fantastic. That's brilliant. Um, Question for you, why would you feel that's important to your end users, your clients, the investors that are investing into you, your business and the properties that you're bringing to them? Very, very simply, um, those clients are not only sorting themselves out for an amazing property investment, but they're actually supporting the heroes of our time, the heroes of our country. I, I am, I am ex-military proud through and through. I've been to Afghanistan on numerous times. My wife has been to Iraq and Afghanistan and, and she's done some incredible things in her military career and, and so have all of my boys we're working through. So investors are not just getting themselves properties, but they're actually supporting the heroes of the United Kingdom. That's awesome. That's something that's that's very important too. Well, we're working in this together to you and me and to everything that we're doing. It is about giving back. It's not only what we're doing, but it's about making sure that others, others in our community, others that are working with us, are supported and given a chance and given the best opportunities. Um, next one, moving, oh, actually, before I do move on, um, how do we get hold of you, Rod? Where's the best one? What are your websites and Facebook? Uh, source, SourceMyProperty.com uh, is our website. Uh, you can get a hold of us at SourceMyProperty on Facebook. Um, those are the two easiest ways to get hold of us, really. And um, those, uh, at the moment, um, all of our direct contact details are on our website because we want people to have the ability to drop us a message or give us a call and we'll signpost you to in the team to who you need to speak to first of all um, but just head over to sourcemyproperty.com um, even look at there's a couple of investment opportunities going to go up there this week because the team has been going mental uh, but uh, have a look at us there and get a hold of us through the facebook page or our website and what's what sort of people are you ideally who's your key client what sort of people are you looking for to get hold of you so um where we've got really good opportunities at the moment is maybe if people need to be helped to go through their first investment uh, to know that um, they are still going to get great returns that we've already made all the mistakes that, that we can help them through. And, and we've made them. We've flipped and made mistakes uh, and we've learned from them. 
Uh, you know, so it's people who want to really uh, need that hand in their first property investment, just a very stable two up, two down or three bedroom buy select property with a good cash flow and a monthly income. Those are our bread and butter. We are magic at turning those around. Uh, and then we do have um, uh, uh, bigger clients with the opportunities to get into, um, or say, small to medium sized developments where you might convert buildings into apartments, things like that. Um, right. And then um, more and more excitingly, we're on the hunt for some special projects uh, like converting um, old chapels into beautiful homes. Uh, so we do have the kind of cross the board. Um, I'm really interested in bringing in more service accommodation and holiday, holiday accommodation in South Wales. So we've got our own properties on the market. Um, and we're even going to be selling an investment opportunity alongside our very own one uh, in North Wales uh, at the moment. So there are some really exciting things for people to get involved with with us um, as a company. So brilliant. So anybody wanting to get involved in property, whether you experience, inexperience, little, little bit of money, lots of money, get hold of you and you'll find a way to get them or, as we say, build returns through buildings. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Um, uh, we're not going to we're not going to uh, pick up the call and say, "Have you got a property?" Yes, here's one right now. Or some clients we've worked through for about six months to find them exactly what they need. But the important part is to start that relationship with us so that we can be on the lookout for what you need. We because the grade yeah because the grade properties that we bring in are not everyday properties. You can't just go down the high street and purchase the quality of the property we find. It does take time to find them because we've got to be sure that we want to get you the best we can. But it's important to make contact with us so we know what you're after. Okay, awesome. Roger, branding and being visible uh, in this internet world, in this global world, we're going out international at the moment through this webcast and being branded and being out there and who people and how people see you is vital in today's world. Where do you, or how do you see yourself being perceived out there? It's it's a good question, actually, because um, it's not something I, something I'm learning about is branding and marketing really, how, but how, how we would want to be perceived, I, I can answer, is that um, it's perceived with trust and open and, and honesty. Um, I want people to, to know that after they've done a property investment with us, if they're on to their second, that they can know that we, they can just leave us to crack on. Um, that, that's how I'd like to be perceived. Um, we, we very, very rarely want to make sure that we speak through results. Um, so we're not going to be the ones at the front of the stage telling on what we've done. We're going to be the ones standing at the back of the room putting you to the front of the stage, presenting your property uh, establishment. So we want to be speaking through results from the back, pushing our clients to the front. Awesome. That's fantastic. How important is it to you and your business and what you're doing to ensure that its message gets out there? And what, what platforms are you using to get your message out there? Uh, so we are uh, kind of really learning as we go along, really. We're trying to use a lot of online um, uh, kind of media and, and broadcast. And, um, For example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, this is, this is kind of a uh, nice treat, isn't it? We weren't expecting this uh, to be invited on this. But um, we're learning um, through, and, and I've got to get better at it, is, is using social media to demonstrate the quality of the work that we're doing. Um, also show the fun videos and the, the boys on site and us having a laugh. Um, we want our clients to see that side of things. Uh, we're getting our, our web branding up there. We've got a commerce page now on our website where you can actually port, purchase source deals through our website. So there's things like that which we are broadening. Um, we are, we've are we got some ex such exciting things in the pipeline. Like next summer, we're having the first ever uh, Source My Property retreat where people can come and spend the weekend with us in the Welsh mountains where we're going to jump off waterfalls and go up canyons and go abseiling. But we're also going to do a whole bunch of real-time property education, um, real-time working with builders. What is a schedule that works? How do you work one out? So we're going to do something completely different where we put people out of their comfort zone, uh, just like that feeling when you see 100 grand leave your bank account. Um, we're going to throw people off waterfalls and stuff. So that's the exciting things we've got in the pipeline. And then we've also got the Source My Property Academy, which is going to be launching a within the next year, I'd imagine, uh, where wow. we're going to have the opportunity to, to be able to bring people into this, the sourcing arena because, um, because of the, the trail that we've blazed, we want to teach it how it's done. So it's a broad spectrum covering everything. And what, what I really like about that, Roger, is that it covers not just the business side, but it's the other side as well. And that, again, leads me neatly onto my next question, which covers life. And life, if you look at those four letters, is leisure, income, family and experience tell me about those what would you do for leisure income 
how important family is and your experience overall through this? Um, yeah, so my family, uh, being, I say being an international family, I've got the majority of my family back home in South Africa. Um, I've got my mum who lives down my road for me here. I've got my dad who lives um, in, in England a few hours away. I've got my um, my middle sister lives over in America. And then I've got my baby sister who lives with my dad. My baby sister is, is a new addition to the family and she's just been adopted and she's incredible. And uh, my wife and I live here in, in um, Skew in, in, in South Wales. Now, be, being South African, as you know, uh, our doors are kind of always, always open and we always have people trudging through and someone might else be in my fridge. So a kind of family dynamic and the ability for people to know that they can come and drop by anytime is quite important to us. Um, yeah, um, the, the Welsh side of things on that uh, needs to needs to warm up. And uh, very often the wife might walk home and say, like, who's been in my house again? Um, but um, she she's absolutely magical and is most uh, most welcoming to all of our guests as well. So, yeah, the family side of things and who we are is very special here in South Wales. And, and being South Africans, we get on with the Welsh because of our rugby. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's quite key. I don't know if that answers your question, but what do you do for later, Rog? Uh, for fun, <laughs> fine properties. <laughs> uh, no, um, your hobby, living your passion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Francesca often asks me, okay, can we can we do something on Saturday? Uh, because you're always you're always up to property, and I'm like, yeah, but it, it's truly at the moment is it still get that buzz. I still get that desire. I still love to do it. If I have to put property aside. Um, I love I love uh, my CrossFit uh, in the gym. It's a, it's a big part of me. It's it's a, it's a, it's a communal fitness a community of fitness, which I love about that. And 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 I'm a surfer from Cape Town, so when I can, um, which is not as often as I would love it to be, it is I get down the beach. Um, it may be a little bit cold, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it as cold as Cape Town? Uh, actually, it, it's it's not really. Uh, the the wind chill factor might be a bit. Um, uh, uh, colder, but the sea levels is actually not as cold as the Atlantic down in Cape Town. Yeah. Well, I've, I've never snowed. Uh, I've never surfed in the snow, so that must be an experience. <laughs> okay, back, back to business, Rog. Um, what is your vision of success? Where's the company going? Where can we see Source My Property growing and evolving in the future? What's the design? You, you and I, when we get together, you know, our dreams don't set us short, and we've got some big plans and. What we see, what we see with the ability to source uh, as we do, is a platform where investors can go on and they don't have to go through any offers, any negotiating, any agents. They don't have to do any viewings. That they can know that if they go onto this platform and they take a deal or an opportunity off that platform for their very own, that it's a source my property grade opportunity and it's going to give them returns. Uh, we want to build that faith. Um, at the moment, the uh, the system of purchasing properties it just takes so so long. You've got to go down and go down to Right Move for three three weeks and book up all your viewings for a weekend. When the weekend comes around, six of those viewings out of your ten have been cancelled because the property's been sold. Uh, and then you've got to give up your weekend driving around the country looking at smelly, dirty properties. Uh, but what we want is that step to all be done, and you have this platform where you can get on. And that when you select the property, the numbers that you're looking at, they're set. We've secured that opportunity. If you want that property, all you have to do is take it to the legals and get it purchased. Um, we, so if you've always, got an investor that will be looking at buying a property that is doing so, that hasn't doesn't have to do any of the hard work, the trudging around, etc., and is still finding a phenomenal investment-grade property, and they've got a whole team of Military boys that are going to with military position, they're going to they're going to whip out that refurb or redevelopment or whatever needs to happen to that building to get it uh, up to spec and improve the value of the property. And they've got somebody else that can look after the lettings at the end of the game. It's yeah. win 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 for for the investor. He can sit on his armchair, he can do nothing, and he can just really command. And at the end of the day, receive that check, receive those returns, get those brilliant returns, and returns on the investment, which is exactly what they want, but again, without the hassle, without any of the hassle. Leave that to, leave that to you boys. That's what that's everything that we cover end to end. Yeah, we don't we don't take away the fun parts of, of properties, which is coming down and doing the viewing and discussing what we're going to do with the place and visualizing the end effect. Uh, we don't take away the fun parts of inviting you down when we get the keys finally and go through and open that bottle of champagne and 
and say like, what are we going to do with this place? And, and we definitely don't take the fun part out of coming now on the works have done and um, seeing the progress the property's made. And again, then celebrating the, the sourcing of a new tenant. So we, we keep all the fun in for our clients. We have clients who like to come down once a week and spend a couple of days with us. And we have clients we never see because they just uh, are too busy and they are just want to want to get better returns on their money than the bank gives them. Uh, you know, so we've got the broad spectrum and we want to take away all the rubbish, add all the fun um, and keep it going that way on, on, a, on a huge platform that's trusted. Fantastic. That's brilliant. Rog, a vital component of, of business is obviously building relationships and those cultivate essential loyalty, which is important and central to the brand and the ethics, etc. Do you agree that what you're doing to support and grow in an internal relationships is important? And what are you doing to make sure that you continue to grow relationships internally and externally? Uh, so there, in, internally, there's, there's a couple of things that I've learned from my, uh, my military time um, that makes a difference uh, with my internal relationships. And that's that I spend time with the boys on site. Uh, so um, yesterday, um, I've got two two lads who are kind of clearing out a property, and it's a horrible property to clear out because they have to carry stuff all the way up this long flight of stairs, around the back, and into the skip. It's like you know, it's a hundred meters before they even get to the skip. Uh, and I dropped down there yesterday, and they were slugging away, and I was like, you know what? I've got a few hours. Let me just get involved. Um, and I end, I end up spending two hours there just loading the skip. I think things like that are important in my internal relationships with, with, with our team because they, they see that I'm never scared to muck in. I'm not that person who's going to rock up with a clipboard and a tie and tick off things. The, these boys need to know that I'm with them in the trenches. So that's really important. And then, and then some of the more skilled guys, um, I'm learning how to plaster. I'm learning how to tile. I'm learning how to fit a kitchen. It's just really little cool things that maybe I can build my own skills. So that's also really, really vital to relationships with the boys. Um, externally, with, with our front yeah yeah externally with our um, with our clients uh it's about spending time with them so it's the invitations to come down and spend the days with us my my days are, are pretty pretty simple i go out i view properties i negotiate sales i drop into build sites i plan schedule of works and having the clients with me for the day to see all that it's really fun it's really good fun um anyone who comes down and spends a day with us they can see a property that's just being ripped out or one that's just being carpeted we've got the full spectrum on the go so they can see the quality of work that we're delivering as well, uh, which is great for that yeah. for that relationship to come down and, and actually just spend a day with us that we've got nothing to hide. We've always got a property at some stage of the build where someone can come in and have a look. Yeah, so much so that we're actually completing on a, on a building next week that we're going to be renovating and we're going to be using that for clients to come down and do inspection days, day or days or weekends. So we'll have our own property for our yeah. clients to come and stay in whenever they want. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've, I've totally forgot about that. <laughs> Our own property that we're going to be able to offer clients uh, uh, to come and stay down when they come and visit us. Yeah, how cool is that? Yeah, I know that's brilliant. Roger, you, you guys. Well, I know because I'm involved. Uh, we've got it. We've got it sorted. We've grown so fast. It's a phenomenal roller coaster journey. It's exciting every single day. Uh, we're moving forward. Everything's happening. We've got everything working for us, and that just makes me think about the other side gratitude what are you grateful for uh, i have a, i have a daily practice uh, and it, it allows me to write down three things um, in my diary every single day that i'm grateful for and they can be as simple as the sun is shining or as simple as like sometimes i just love it when it's raining and i take the dog for a walk but what i think i'm, I'm most grateful for here uh, at the moment is this this house with with the roof over my head uh, and it's this house right now is going to be the future uh, for my own family. I'm so grateful for that. Um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my wife. Um, she she's the most incredible support uh, in in my business. Uh, when times get stressed, and she comes home, and instead of saying "Don't worry, you'll be okay," she says things like, "What can I do? Uh, what 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 can I take off your hands tomorrow? I might have a few hours." You know, that, that I'm really really grateful for that. Um, and I'm grateful for the family that I have uh, really close. And I don't just mean my blood family. I mean the family that I'm creating. And with the likes of yourself, with the likes of the build team, I'm thankful that we get to call ourselves a family. Awesome, awesome. And within within the gratitude, I was in LA a couple of weeks ago, as you know, and I was watching a whole lot of super movie stars and celebrities. And that's obviously very impressive, and there's branding associated with that. But my biggest takeaway from that was every single one of them 
didn't just talk about the money. They spoke about what they're doing with the money and how important their message is and what they actually can, can actually do ethically to try and help and change the world and make the world a better place and do the right thing. So ethics is, is strong to all of them. And I know that's very important to you as well. So in, in the business, what, what are you doing that you feel is ethically correct so that we're making sure that our clients are, are, are well looked after, that the buildings are well looked after, that we're looking after local authorities. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so um, I, don't, I don't have to think about trying to be ethical. It's, 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 it's ingrained in us. Uh, the, 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 the core values are, are with us through and through. And so it's quite important that we, we that's the way we just, we just operate. I often see people trying to really push that they're ethical about things and often makes you think like, why do you have to push it, mate? Why can't you just be ethical? Uh, but there are, there are some very special things that make us kind of unique that we ensure we stay on line. And uh, one of those being that we work with the local council here and we work with the, um, with the empty homes officer and we work with him to find properties and find homes that are in dire need of being returning back to becoming a home. And it's called the Houses to Homes. Uh, and, and what we do with that is we actually find properties that are so run down and so picked up that the council is willing to work with us to support us with money to be able to turn that property back into a home. Uh, so that's something that we, that we do, and it's working very, very fruitful. We've got a great relationship with the local councils across Wales uh, to turn houses into homes. Um, the, I mean... Something else, it, it keeps on going back to, to kind of looking after uh, our tenants. Um, we've got properties where we've given people the option to buy uh, and they don't have to have a mortgage. Now, when you can take a property that you own and give it to a tenant, people are sick of just plowing money into a rental property that they know is just either going to be sold one day or taken off them. So they don't. Tenants don't look after houses. These days, a tenant who looks after the house is something quite special. You know, you're always getting the call if something breaks or they don't really look after stuff. So what we're doing is we're finding people who may be um, not in the ability to get themselves a mortgage now, but they've got a good job. They've got a lovely family and they've got good future prospects. We will give them the option to purchase the house that we rent to them. Uh, and we do that by actually having a little top up fee on their rent, which we will save on their behalf to be put towards their mortgage as we put towards their deposits. We will even go to the extent of demonstrating to potential mortgage lenders your ability to save and your ability to have this big pot of money towards your deposit. And it's amazing what you can give that to someone when they've got the ability to own their own house without having to have a mortgage. Uh, so that's something we try and do to find the right kind of people because it's, again, that's one of the situations that are not just, I suppose, ethical, but they're also win-win because we have tenants who look after their properties and love them. That's brilliant. Yeah, so those are two examples there. That, that awesome That's question. awesome. So you've taken an uh, unloved or unlivable home. You've worked with the local council, with the local authorities. Uh, they're helping you invest into the properties to bring them back up to state. And you're helping people, families. I know that property you're talking about, we're looking at a family there, who didn't have a home that they could buy for themselves for their own scenario. Now they're in a position where they can buy their own home, which has been refurbished. So we're housing people, we're taking unloved homes, putting them back on the market, and at the same time, we're making investors happy. That's win, 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 win the whole way through. I just think that's a phenomenal message. And from, from, from my side, yes, obviously you and I are involved in this. And I think this, is, this is the key piece, the way you and I get on so well, is it's not about chasing the money. Yes, we're in business. We're not a charity, but it is all about making sure that everybody else, from the local authority to your investors, to the local people that are in the environment, everybody is winning. Everybody is getting some peace, and we are making a difference in people's lives. And I think that's that's the key piece. And, and Rog, I've known you for just over a year now. I know your ethics and the military background. My military background as well is very, very strong. I think you made a valid point there. You don't have to try and go out and look for ethics. It's who you are. To do the right thing is who you are. You cannot, it's not in your makeup to do the wrong thing, to try and skinny somebody out of a deal and all the rest. And this is why we are growing so fast. At the moment, I haven't seen any other business in South Wales in the property game that is growing as fast as us. We had, 
I don't want to speak out of turn, uh, almost competitors or people that were doing similar things to us that are now working not for us, but they're working with us. Mm -hmm. So we're not taking on sourcing agents, we have sourcing partners. So it's a whole collaborative method and message that we're passing on so that everybody benefits. Yeah. So uh, I, I think it's fantastic. It's, you know, and, and an offshoot of that was uh, my need to create this radio show. I have to get our message out there. Our message is that good. We're doing such great things. I want to talk about this globally. Yes, uh, I'm going to be interviewing people from around the world. I want to find out what people are doing. I want to pass their message as well. But I also want to find out what other people are doing around the world. So how we can bring that back and how we can do what we are doing, how we can do it better so that we can better serve our clients, our investors, you know, our homeowners and do, do the right thing. There's so many more things that are going to come from ethically sourcing uh, properties, uh, making sure that they, they're green and carbon neutral, etc. That's all stuff to come. At the moment, we are cementing our business model. And by cementing that business model and the foundations from that is providing us with a phenomenal structure to grow, to grow. Off. And we are every day and every week when we, when we speak, we laugh with each other about how far we've actually come and how fast this machine is working. And personally, it's because we're doing the right thing for the right people. And people are now coming to us. As I said, in LA, people were walking up to me and saying, are you John? Are you source my property? We are doing the right thing. You, you and I are doing the right thing. Our message is getting out there. We are getting fantastic returns for our investors. You know, we're taking unlocked homes. We're putting them back on the market again. We're looking at all sorts of opportunities. It's just a phenomenal journey to, to be on. So, Rod, from myself to you, respect you, my man. You're a phenomenal partner. You're a great friend. And uh, I thank you for your support. Thank you for being my, my number one guest. Pleasure. Everybody out there, this has been Building Returns with Source My Property. Have a fantastic day.